Hi, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and I'm going to show you how to design a pop-up or a slide-out menu. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design a pop-up menu for this hamburger menu icon here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this artboard, and we can do that by clicking on the name here. We'll hold down Option, and as we drag this over to the side, we create a duplicate. Now I want to change the name of this artboard to menu. And from there, I can change the height of this to 667, but before I do, I'm going to just go ahead and delete a few elements down here. I'll leave these guys alone and change this to 667. So that's the height of a normal iPhone. And then we can just get started here by clicking on the rectangle tool and we can just drag a rectangle here for the popover menu. And maybe the first thing that I want to do is make this rectangle full width here. And I'll just make the fill of this black. And I'll change this border so there's no border on here. And maybe I'll just dim this to about 40%. So, and then I will select this rectangle, hold down Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Now I'm just going to change the size of this copied rectangle to 250. And then I will make that 100% opaque, change this to white, and then I want to add a background blur here. And I want it to be fairly bright right here, that should be good. Okay, and now we can just add our menu items. And what I'm going to do here is I will just click on the text tool. And I'll begin a text layer right here. Change the size of this to 14. And we'll make this bold, I think. Black. And then using the pen tool here, we are just going to create a simple shape here. We'll change the border width to three. And this will be black as well. And now I can just resize this here. If I constrain the width and the height, I'm gonna change the width to 12. And now I can select these guys and I can use the same repeat grid. And I'll come down here and I'll add just a few of them for right now. And I'm just going to change the text here. So new arrivals. And we'll add one more. Okay, so we have these menu items. I'm just going to change the padding here to 16. And I think I want to move this guy over here a little bit. And you can see we moved him outside of the repeat grid, and that's okay. What we can do is just, we can click outside of it and come back here and just stretch this to see it again. And we can see that this is butted up right against this other one. So if we just change the padding here, it'll actually just hide that for us. And that's what we want. So I'm gonna click on here again. I'm gonna change the size of this border to two. So we can see how much flexibility we have with this repeat grid to be able to change things on the fly. Now that we have this in place here, I'm just going to use the text tool once more. I'm just gonna create a simple logout link. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my text layer here, just copy that and Option Command V. And so I can retain that same style. And I'll just put that right here. And now I can quickly just jump over to my prototype view and link this up. So this will be the logout. And now this, instead of it going to logout now, we can have it open up this screen. And then if we tap anywhere on this window, we don't have anywhere to select on here. So what we can do is we can go into design mode and we can draw a rectangle. So if they tap anywhere in this region, we can create this rectangle and then just make the opacity 0% so they can't see this. But now if I jump back into prototype, I can use this tappable area 
to go back into the product page. And now we want to have this slide left. And when they click on this menu, we actually want to change this to slide right. And we can go in and test this again by clicking this play button. So we can log in. That is a nice cross dissolve. And then when I click on this menu, there's a slide right. And then I click anywhere outside of here and we have a nice slide left. So I can click on here and just log out and we have a nice prototype there.